It's been a while since I've done a video like this. I think the last time I did a solo mowing video was November of 21. Um, and it is currently June of 2023. Uh, so it's been a little bit of time. A lot has changed since the last video that I posted. So I decided I would hit a, a long solo route today and, and show you how much money can be made. A little bit of context. I am here in Hutto, Texas, and uh, we currently have seven going on eight employees uh, for our company. And we typically rock three two-person crews uh, but today we'll be doing two two-person crews and I'll be doing a solo route. So tag along. I'm just gonna try to film every single lawn that I go on and pot and, and break down the numbers after uh, and we'll see how much I make today. All right guys, so what you're currently seeing, this is our shop space. I typically get here around 6.15 in the morning, hop on the computer, handle any last minute emails um, or last minute scheduling changes. My business partner, Dylan, is the one that typically gets the equipment on the trailers. However, he's feeling pretty sick at the moment. Uh, so I'm just loading everything up on the trailers and getting ready to go to our first property. Uh, now the gist of this video is going to be route density. I'm going to touch on it in a few different um, talking points throughout this video but the name of the game in lawn care is route density just due to the low margin you can really stack your cash flow by having a bunch of houses that are right next to each other i think i completed 13 visits today and they were all within one mile of each other um, our other two person crews they completed probably over 50 lawns between the two of those crews and all of their lawns were within you know a mile to two miles of each other. So that's how you really make your money in lawn care. First lawn done took about 20 minutes. Uh, we got $48 for that job and I'm headed on to the second job, but I wanted to show you guys something really quick. Uh, this is the importance of having good route density. So I believe I have 15 uh, visits on my um, list today. Out of those 15, you can see that 13 of them are probably within a mile of each other. And then we have two over here. Um, if I, and that's just for my route. So I'm going to select the other crews and show all the, all the projects for today. So this is all the visits for today. Um, so I believe we have a total of 60 something uh, visits for today. And they're all within pretty much, you know, one neighborhood. Uh, so this is gonna be an extremely profitable day. And this is the importance of having good route density. I know these videos are tough to watch all the way through. So what I would like to do is take the moments where I'm just, I have footage of me mowing lawns and really break down some key components and how to run a successful lawn care business. So if you're out working, just throw some headphones in uh, and just consider this as a podcast and we can talk about the numbers and everything, uh, but use this as a tool to grow your lawn care business. I know this video is showing me on a solo route, uh, but the number one way to grow your team and grow your business quick is to have a solid team. Um, you want to be able to train them up to become efficient and you want to have systems in place that allows uh, them to really maximize their efficiency. So what we use is a system called P4P, stands for Pay for Performance, uh, and that's through Mike Andes and Augusta Lawn Care. Uh, this really has set our business up for success because it's a system that manages the employees so that we don't have to manage the employees. So how we work it is we give our employees 33% of the labor revenue. So the totals that you're seeing on the screen is the labor revenue, excluding the tip, uh, but the crews get to split their tip at the end of the day. So if it's a two person crew and that two person crew gets this $20 tip, each crew member will receive $10. So you wanna have a system that allows them to maximize their efficiency and uh, allows them to make as much money as possible and have control over their income. So I have two houses right next to each other. I have this one. And then this one right behind me. Uh, one is 44 weekly, one is 50 bi-weekly. It is currently 9.23 in the morning. So we'll see how long this takes me and see what our effective hourly rate is. Stay tuned. 
Now the number that you're gonna see at the end of this video is $652 earned. Like I said, we give our employees 33% of labor revenue and they get to keep their tips. I worked a total of six and a half hours today. However, I had to take an hour out to do a meeting. So if I was an employee today earning $652, 33% of that is my income, and I worked a total of five and a half hours, I would have effectively made $39.12. And I believe, let me do the number real quick. That comes out to $215 in take home pay for that employee. All right, so I just got back in the truck. It is currently 10, 12. Uh, so we finished those two lawns in 47 minutes, $94 total. If you take that down into consideration per dollar per minute, uh, we're sitting at about $120 uh, for those two lawns. The next property that I have is less than a quarter mile down the road. That one's about $58. So I'm about to hit that, probably take me about 30 minutes. And then I have to go hit a Zoom meeting back at the office uh, with our office manager. And then I'll be back on the road after that. So I just wrapped up that lawn. I had to make that a quick one because I had to uh, get back to the office for this meeting at 11. Uh, so office is just a few minutes away. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna make it there on time. Started mowing this morning around eight o'clock and it is currently 1046. Uh, the quick mental math plus the $20 tip that we made earlier, we're sitting at around $314 made so far. And it's been two hours and 46 minutes uh, so it's been a great day so far I still have I believe eight more lawns uh, to get to after this meeting meeting went smooth uh, we were just talking to the new software company that uh, we will be using as our CRM uh, going into next year we are in the process of opening our second location uh, next year and we currently have 19 well 22 customers in the area and we're using them as almost like a test to see how that software is going to work uh, we just had a few questions on how uh, operationally that software is going to look for our system and so that uh, meeting went awesome it's currently 11:50, heading to my next property three minutes away from our office i'm going to get back after it and try to hit some good labor efficiency and so we'll see how we do over these next few clips, I would really like to take a moment and share why I think our company is successful. Uh, and that's really due to this company being a gift from God. Uh, so without God's mercy and without God's grace towards me and my family personally, but also this company, uh, this company would not be what it is today. So we currently have around 400 reoccurring lawn mowing customers. Uh, and this year we're set up to do just probably north of $750,000. And that is such a God thing. Uh, so I want to let you know that you should uh, really look into putting your faith into Jesus Christ because uh, he is the God of abundance and um, he has you currently where you're at for a reason. Uh, and even if the long-term vision of God's will is not you in lawn care, I can guarantee you your actions are be your actions today are, is going to set you up for your future. Hey, Nick, what's up? Sorry, I missed your phone call. So I'm doing yesterday's PPP and I asked JJ if he completed <laughs> Dylan, but he said he did it and they're showing up together on PPP. So I'm not sure who completed his yard. Yesterday? Yes. So yes, so they forgot to do the invoice for Um, And so I sent that through yesterday, but that would have been a Friday thing. So disregard. So he was on Friday's P4P then? Yep, so that he's already accounted for. Okay, sounds good. Cool, thank you. Thank you. Yep, mm -hmm. bye. Bye. I just finished up on this property. Um, the camera shut off. So it didn't get me uh, mowing any of this. But here is the yard. It took me a little over. Use the stand down. I'm about to blow everything off. So let's keep going. Looks like I have three more lawns on my list. Possibly we'll hop on the other guy's route 
help them up with the day, but the day's going great so far. Not exactly sure how much money we've made, uh, but for a solo route, I think we're cooking. I mean, right now it's 1.30, uh, but probably take an hour and a half of that away because I've been in meetings and uh, customer phone calls to my personal number somehow. Um, yeah, everything is going smooth. I'm excited to see how much we make after the end of this route. Fixing to grab some food, replenish, refuel, and get back after it. We have two houses right next to each other again. These are my favorite just because you just get to stack, um, stack revenue back to back. You don't have to worry about drive time. When you're solo, two houses next to each other is awesome. Three houses starts to suck. Uh, you're, you're craving that AC. On the other street, we had uh, one of our two person crews this morning had eight houses on the same street. And that street is, I mean, less than a quarter mile long. So uh, they made probably $55 an hour um, on per person um, on that street and probably took them an hour and a half. So uh, they're, they're killing it. It's awesome having these houses right next to each other. It's currently 1.45 p.m. Uh, we'll see how long it takes for me to knock these two out. They're both $48, uh, so we'll see how we do. wrap those two lawns up uh, we have uh, started at 145 ended at 235 so a total of 50 minutes um, that was probably gonna be another $120 per hour um, while on those properties so how I'm getting that number is I take uh, the price per cut so this thing this Example is $48, multiply that by two, that's $96 in total that I just completed in 50 minutes. So I wanna figure out how many dollars per minute uh, that I completed, so 96 divided by 50, whatever that is, multiply that by two, and that's gonna be somewhere around 120 uh, per hour. And with this tight drive time, I, I feel like we're probably sitting around $100 an hour today, uh, but I could be off. But at the end of the day, I will do that calculation and I will share that with you. Uh, we should have one more job. I'm waiting on confirmation on that. Um, and then we should be good for the day. So let's see. It is unbelievably hot. Feels like 102. So I brought up my Crocodile Dundee, my Safari Sam's. Get that nick. Some much needed protection. I'm roasting like a pig. So ready to hit this last lawn and see how much money we made. All right, guys, so we're on our last lawn. So this is the perfect time to throw up a picture here on the screen in the next few seconds and talk about the numbers for today. Uh, so as you will see, we had a gross revenue of $652. Now it's $632 plus a $20 tip. Um, what we do is we pay 33% for our labor, and we also have to pay a payroll tax, which is about another 11%. So that total for payroll and uh, or labor and payroll tax comes out to $238. From all of our calculations, our variable costs, which primarily for us is gas and credit card processing fees, comes out to roughly 8.5% on average. So our variable cost for today, just for the solar route, would be $55. Now the calculations that we've done for our fixed costs, uh, meaning our lease here, um, our truck payments, more payments, whatever whatever costs that do not change, uh, regardless of how much work we get, we found that that comes out to an average of 22% of our gross revenue. So that's an under, another $143 um, away from our gross revenue. So now what we get after, I know it says net profit, that's not what that is, it's gross profit. So after that we get $216, but we have to pay tax on top of that. So they say roughly 30% is a good amount to save for your taxes. So that's another $64. Uh, so what we have after everything is said and done for today, we have $152 uh, in our net profit. 
Now this is for a solo route. So if you were just um, a solo operator and you're working out of your garage, a few things would change in this calculation. One, you wouldn't have uh, as high a variable or as high as fixed costs, and you wouldn't have that payroll and labor. So you would add to your 152, let's say your fixed costs only come up to maybe $50, so that's another $90 in your pocket, and you wouldn't have to worry about labor. So you would have another 100, you would have made $480 today by yourself. Now I worked five and a half hours, so you would have made roughly $87 per hour take home uh, after everything was said and done. So it's possible to make money uh, on lawns. Let's get after it.